Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video we transition all of the animation. Now in this video we will add the parameters and then assign the parameters in the transition. So first of all switch to this parameters tab and then from here select this drop down arrow and then click on this bool and let's name this bool as walk. Then after this we will add another bool and this time we will name this running then let's add a trigger by the name of jump and then we will add another bool let's name this idle after this we will create a bool by the name of idle aim then we will create a pool by the name of aim walk then let's create a pool by the name of fire then let's name the other one fire walk and after the fire walk we will create a die and then a loading pool so once all of these are completed this 10 sorry 9 booms and 1 trigger and you can name that this whatever you want but these names suit my game so I will just use this okay now let me open up this monitor tab like this so that you guys can see clearly But if we click on this transition, as you can see, we don't see this area, this condition area. So what we will do, we will just resize this and according to that all window. Now right here, first of all, remove this as exact time 0 and make sure that you select the transition, which is from the idle to the walk. Okay, so simply remove this tick from has exact time okay and then right here in the condition we will click on this plus button and as you can see they already give us the condition which is walk true okay let's set the walk to true so just leave it as it is then click on this transition which is from the walk back to the idle remove this as exact time zero add a condition and this time we will say walk phones okay now let's click on this transition which is from the idle to jump and simply remove this as exact time zero click there and select the jump trigger and then select the transition which is from the jump back to the idle you can leave this as it is okay because we want that once the jump animation is fully completed then we want to go back to the idle animation okay so for that purpose we will leave this as exact time and right here we will then simply say idle to okay now you can see this transition which is from the idle to this aiming idle okay so select that transition and remove this as exact time 0 click there okay on the condition and set the idle aim to true then select this other transition which is from aiming idle to idle and right here we will do the same remove that add a condition and this time we will set the idle to true and the idle aim to false okay so this transition will be like this as you can see now let's check the transition from the idle to dead and as you can see this one is the transition so simply remove has exact time 0 and right here we will set the tie to true and you can see the transition right here as you can see we will be idle and will be this 
health becomes zero, he will simply die. Now select this transition which is from the idle to shoot. Okay, this one, as you can see, this blue highlighted one. Remove this having that time zero. And right here we will set the fire to true and then select this transition room uh, just leave this as exact time as it is but this time make the idle true okay because when he finish shooting we want him back in the idle animation like that okay now select the transition which is from the idle to run we can remove this as exact time 0 and right here we will simply set the running true and then so for this transition which is from the run to the idle we will remove this and right here we will set the running to false okay and as you can see all the animation connected to the idle animation are now connected now first of all let's uh, to simply set this animation okay from the jump to dead and from everywhere to this of animation okay so right here just simply remove that and set the type to true then from this in idle we will do the same we can just simply set this tag to true and I think from the idle to that the other is a condition then from the shoot to dead we will set the tag to true then from this walk we will set the tag to true and as you can see, he will be walking and when he gets shot at, he will just simply die. And you can select this one from run to dead, as you can see right here. He will set the die to true and he will play. And now he is dead. Okay, then from the shoot walk to dead, we will set the die to true. And you can see. And from in walk. To dead, we will set the tag to true. Okay, as you can see. Now select this transition which is from the jump to this walk. Okay, this one. Remove this as exact time zero and right here set the walk to true. As you can see, when he jump, then he will start walking. And now select this one which is from the walk to the jump okay remove this as it's at time zero add a condition which will be jump okay so if he's walking he can jump after this select this transition which is from aiming idle to walk right here remove this as it's at time zero set the walk to true okay and then the next condition will be aim walk or we can just uh, set the aim walk to true and this walk to false okay so if he's aiming then when we just simply remove our button from the right mouse button then he will just stop aiming and when we press the w button he can just simply walk like that okay now select this transition which is from the walk back to the aiming idle remove this and add a condition set the idle aim to true and then set the where is it okay walk to false okay so if he is walking and then we stop walking and we are still holding the right mouse button then the player will be continuously just end. Okay, so we have completed this for transition. Now select this transition, which is from the aiming idle to aiming walk. Okay, so select this transition. 
remove this as a vector time zero right here we will set the aim walk to true and then idle aim to true as well so if he is aiming and then we press the w button he will start start walking like this as you can see and then select this transition which is from aiming walk to aiming idle we will remove the exact time zero at a condition and this time we will set the aim walk to false and he will be walking and we will remove the we unpress the w button okay we remove our finger from the w button he will just stop like that after this let's select this transition which is from shoot to aiming recharge okay as you can see from the arrows look at this one from shoot to aiming recharge right here remove this and it's at time zero add a condition and set the reloading to true then select this one remove this as is at time zero add a condition and then set the reloading to false as you can see when you stop reloading we can then simply shoot back now let's select this transition which is from shoot walk to aim and recharge for example if you are walking then we can also recharge or you can say reload so remove this and right here we will set the reloading to true and when we are not reloading then we will set the reloading to false like this now select this transition which is from the walk to shoot walk okay make sure that you follow me with both of your eyes open on here guys because you will mess this up because as you can see there are a lot of transitions going on so from the walk to shoot walk remove that and right here we will set the fire walk to true and as you can see we will be walking and then we can shoot and walk then select the other transition which is from shoot walk to walk remove that add a condition set the fire walk to false okay and then as you can see this finish and now select this transition which is from the walk to run as always remove the as at that time zero set the running to true and then remove that at a condition and set the walk to true we will be running then we can walk again now select this transition which is from the walk to aim in walk remove that exact time zero Okay, make sure that this transition that you selected from walk to aim walk and set the aim walk to true and then select this transition remove that and set the aim walk to false and you can see when you aim and walk and then you can walk again. And I guess all of the transitions are now completed and I hope you guys got what I have done right here okay we first created the parameters and then we assigned the parameters in the transition condition okay you can just re-watch this video if you guys didn't get it what we were doing and you are free to ask me any question I hope you like this video and catch you guys in the next one